Come forth, Lord of Inferno! Accurate facsimile, yet not quite the effort you know. No, not quite the same. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Fronin. Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, thanks for joining us today. We're gonna be checking out this event. It's the FF16 and 14 crossover event, right, Slam, I think? Yeah, it should be pretty cool. So we're gonna go check it out right now, and then, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, head over to Ulda. And this is the lovely FC home, for anyone that doesn't know. Let's go. I think I know where they're at. Let's see here. Yeah, I was looking for it earlier. It's just, yeah, you're going the right way. Yep. Okay. Neophyte adventure. Yeah. Huh. <sighs> Dawn Trails appear to be here soon. I can't believe it. It's sitting close. Coming up, man. Yeah, the summer. We're so behind on questing, but that's okay. Well, at least we can play the stuff before that, and then we can go right into the expansions that's okay <laughs> yeah. all right let's get going so a land on fire but forgive me my boldness but you are Ford and might aren't you not hey I, I can say no what I'm gonna say no my, my okay. apologies even if you are the spinning image I suppose it was naive of me to presume that you are indeed the living legend himself I shall have to keep searching yeah, alright. And that's the end, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, <laughs> that's thanks. It. Thanks, guys. That was great. That was fun. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. wow. That was a great, great uh, experience, dude. Alright, let's try it again. Yes, I am the adventurer. Yes, I am Froden Might. Yes. Yes, sir. Th then my search isn't an end. Uh, be Googled, gentlemen. Oh, God. I can't even say the words right. The, then my search is at an end. Uh, begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. Greetings, champion. Oh, it's you again. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I have a request that you, and you alone, can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse. One of purest white, the other bluish scarlet. Their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. Hmm. But what does it mean? A lovely tale, but I failed to see what that has to do with me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. A lovely tale, but what does it have to do with me? I do not wish to make any claims of certainty, 
And yet... Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. That makes sense. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouncement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. The question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning? Metaphorically or otherwise. The Bowl of Embers wire battled Ifrit? Hmm. The Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan. Okay. A place rich in corrupted crystal deposits. They can look quite fiery. Uh. Shoot, they're all good. What do you think, Slam? I'm thinking that Bowl of Embers makes a lot of sense. Alright, I'll show the Bull of Embers where I battle it Ifrit. I mean, that would make sense to me, yeah. right? Yeah, I would think, you know. Right. The Bull of Embers where I battle Ifrit. Watch this be wrong. <laughs> yeah, maybe. While its relation to flame cannot be denied, my instincts tell me nay. The scene from my dream was more ridged than bowl. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal mayhap. Of course! So it's the fields then, probably, right? Slam. Oh, yep, that makes sense. Let yeah. me put, I'm gonna say the second one anyway, just to be dumb. Alright. The burning I wall. Yeah. Watch him call me an idiot. Ah, that cluster of immense crystals born of the seventh umbral calamity. Aye, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. Oh, what? Ah, wait, we were wrong? <laughs> wait, oh, no way. Okay, that was we it. were wrong. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, all right, well, I guess we are stupid. All right, you should have called us dumb. <laughs> all right. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous Burning Wall at once. Oh, man. IQ zero. Wow, look at that. That's a cool little icon there. Yeah, I feel like uh, Inspector Gadget or something. Just yeah. Being totally wrong. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you got it right. Wrong. Like Being right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So where we're heading, we have to teleport to Camp Drybone. It's actually, it's actually, yeah, I'll just teleport there. We gotta fly. Oh, okay. Camp Drybone. Would you like a ride, sir? Ooh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, it's right in style too. Yep. Might as well, the, the mount that everyone wanted to get when uh, they put it on the marketplace, right? Hey, the FF15 mount. Hey. This was on the Chocobo, right? I think Slim, right? I forgot. Uh, it was a Chocobo. It wasn't, it wasn't a Gold Saucer, right? Yeah, it might have been Gold Saucer. Did we have to buy it? I forgot. I think, I, I forgot, I think we had to buy it. Yeah, we did have we? a certain amount of... Yeah, I think it was like 200,000? It wasn't too crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah, not crazy. Not crazy. Not like the millions it cost other ones. No. Nothing like that. No. I think I want to say it was 200,000. Yeah, I um, think you're right. Yeah, the gold saucer. Gold saucer tokens. MGP. It would have been better if I died already to that little golden piece. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's looking at the crystals. Yeah, the crystals. I see all the crystals now, for sure. Nice. The Burning Wall. An apt name, indeed. It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamud pierced the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglasses at the ready. Okay. Spyglasses. Uh-oh. Survey your surround- Oh, no. 
It's a survey. It's a survey. Oh no. Am I, am I too fat? Am I blocking the point for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Uh, Sorry, I'm on there now. For, any, for anything out of place. Oh man. So far, I don't see anything. I still remember when we did this for the that one that the one thing, and I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, remember that, that one bug or whatever. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everyone was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. You're like zooming in on his balls and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you? <laughs> Dude, this one is uh, weird. I don't see anything so far. So far, nothing. Yeah, I'm looking around. Like an unusual discovery. I'm looking for like the icon to, just, to like put uh, the highlight, you know? Yeah, anything out of place. The heck is out of place? Mm -hmm. Oh, I found it. Oh. You did? Okay, no idea. There is a strange man out the, down there. Very, very tight. Hard to see, though. He has a cape. Where is that? Up top or down below? Down. At the very base? Yep. I don't see him. Is it near the bridge? Nope. Down. It looked straight down. Almost. See that bridge, that land bridge there on the bottom, the ground on the bottom there. Oh, That's kind of like, I, I see, I see him. Yeah, see I see him now. Him. Yeah, wow. yep, there he is. All right. It's funny, I almost matched the, the NPC's clothing colors. Yeah. Red and black. Cool. Well, what's going on? What's going on? Now, just a, a warning, guys. I have never played Final Fantasy 16 yet, so I have no idea who this is. Um, probably one of the characters in the game, so apologies for that. If anyone knows in the Honestly, comments, feel free. I would say it's the main character, but I don't know. Probably the main character, character. yeah. I just, like I had, I haven't played it, so... Um, I think I think you're right, though, Slam. Probably the main character. Yep. Yeah. A dream led you to me? I understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure of what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. The stalwart hero is Frodo Might. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive, uh, the last thing I remember was the ruins. Ah! My head, where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you are not senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a... Wow, I don't know that word. 
<laughs> Frontistory position looky over. <laughs> I think that's good enough, right? <laughs> for safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have a frontistory position looky over. I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at Scholar's Walk? Oh, hey, free teleport, nice. Hey, okay, destination. All right. Our foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully twas not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The Psyker, I want to say that's correct. Psy. Sicker. No, I can't be right, right? I think it's just Psyker, right, Slam? Or Physiker? Physiker? Maybe Physiker, yeah. Much improved. The Physiker also noted no signs of injury or illness. Yet my memories remain hazy. How did it end up there? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in the state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Ulda strike you as familiar? I've simply forgotten, but I recognize nothing. Hmm, not old on, then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Ulda and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelveswood is in order? Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there. Meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. Alright. I was looking around this place for a bit. Showing off the skills. Yeah, yeah I know, right? I should make loot like uh, Uzui. I am the god of flashiness. There you go, <laughs> yeah. Alright. This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. Broden, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. 
Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Alright guys, that's the end of the stream. Or end of the video. See you next time. Bye -bye. Stay tuned for the thrilling conclusion. <laughs> Let's go. Dragon Ball Z. Alright. All right, here we go. Pain to recall. Are we ready? Then let's head out. This Gradania the Mistral mentioned. Is it far? Will we need mounts? I can teleport. It's all good. Oh, we're we gonna go by airship? What? Okay. All right. By airship? You have those? Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. I haven't been in an airship in a while. It's been a long time. Yeah, dang. We always teleport everywhere. Hey! Look at this. I still have a, an event here! <laughs> What's going on? Hey. I still have a blue event. Terrible. Alright. Froden, if I may ask a foolish question, do these airships of yours actually fly? A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. First time traveling by airship. Is there no airship travel from where you're from? I want number two. Is there no airship travel from where you're from? So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief, for something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I can... I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on this is pointless. Forward is the only way. No airship cutscene, huh? Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, We're here in Grenadia! Yeah. Okay, no blue, uh, okay, no blue quest marker. That's good. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be, my memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Alright. This city certainly has a different feel to Ulda. Not only the architecture, but the people as well. Alright, that's well I see a red a red a red uh, spot on the map, so probably there. Oh, right here. Oh, did I go the oh, wrong way? Me on the side. It's right here. She's a giant. Yeah, how did I miss that? This tavern. It reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. A 
chocobo? Now that's something I recognize. Yet, yeah, it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for what the when or the where... An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. No, not nearly large enough. Ugh, when I try to remember, the fog on my head almost seems to grow thicker. Where's the other one? Okay, it's a little bit farther away. This is a truly beautiful place. I like the music slam. It makes me want to play the game now. I know they did that on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I know. It also reminds me of like the Lord of the Rings and stuff too. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. See, you've taken a liking to Gridania then. Have you remembered anything else? Um, let me say, have you remembered anything else? Brief flashes of this and that, but nothing to suggest I've been here before. I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful, and that doesn't sit right. Patrol reporting, Commander. All is quiet with the uh, Ixal. No sightings of Garuda. For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Did he say Garuda? You there, this Garuda you speak of. Uh, uh. Sir, are you all right? Throw it in. Do you know this gentleman? Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gradani owes a debt of gratitude to any who stood against the destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited for the task than I. Our elder Seed Seer is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Still Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me at Nofika's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. It's been a while since we've been there. It has been a long time. Nice that they're putting us back, I guess. There for a bit. Oh, we're here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All these teleports! <laughs> yeah, nice. Alright, that works. The way back to what I've lost begins with Garuda. Of that, I feel certain. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please.
Greetings, honored guests. Commander Helio has apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he? A pleasure to meet you. I am Khan Isena, Elder Seedseer of Gradania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive. Oh. What's up? I was saying, you know what, Frodan? I think I wonder if this music's in Final Fantasy 16. It is. It, that's what I did earlier, Slam. <laughs> it oh, is. Oh, I thought you said you wanted to play. I thought it reminded you of a different game. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to play this game, Final Fantasy XIV? Oh no, I'm sorry, I miss, I misspoke. I meant, oh. I meant, yeah, oh. it makes you want to play sixteen because of the, the music. Oh, sixteen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Earlier, I was, I thought you were talking about the music in Gradenia. It sounds like you know the Lord of the Rings yeah. stuff. I do want to play this game more. I still have enough time, you know. Yeah. I am Clive. Though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes, in the instant I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted. Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelveswood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her cap capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add, that Froden has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. A winged woman of volatile temperament with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity, no. The will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Orzia's Primal are not one and the same. Mainly as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, Minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for Malms around? Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another, another possibility, one consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. My brand, it's... it's the mark of a bear. Ugh. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda. Bearer. Ifrit. Another primal's name, it would seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. 
Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One's subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth, the mind creating a shield of pain to protect the heart. The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Where'd everyone go? <laughs> they just, kick, they just kick, kicked us out. Yeah. It's supposed to be back here, you know? Yeah, they must have kicked us out then. Can we walk back? No, we can't even walk back there. That's a bummer. Is it through here? I don't know. That's not through there, is it? It's through here. Usually. Yeah. But get out of here. We're going to help it get out of here. Alright. So, you think me from another world. And my memories of said world are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. Tis a confounding dilemma, and I agree. And I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. A drastic measure, perhaps, especially when you're not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, Froden. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for a war and await me at Ap Apkalu Falls. Oh boy, here we go. Garuda again, huh? Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, we're gonna be fighting Garuda, huh? The Path Infernal. Alright. And this gives us a gift, huh? Okay. The Mistral has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apkalu Falls, right? And where is that to be found? Good. Not far then. Let's get on with it. Alright. Oh, it's just... We could take oh. a, a ether current there. I guess there's not really any close one besides uh, the Lancer's Guild, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you're right. Yep. Alright. Hey, I've earned my spells, man. Been almost that play of Gunbreaker. Dude, yeah, I know. It's like I played Astrology in forever either, so I don't remember it easy either. Oh, is this a your instance? Oh, maybe, yeah. This place, why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soi gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose, to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit? Ha uh, ha! Uh, I know something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? Oh, 
Clive recalled several worlds in the El Elder Seed Seer's presence, words which brought him pain. While the significance of bear eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Ifrit. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, tis likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louis Swa paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair, will my words be given substance. And within the vision which takes form will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation. Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be on earth without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Wow. Okay, this brings back memories. Where has he sent us? You stand in the Bowl of Embers, the site where the Amal Amalja summoned their patron deity, and the stage upon which the Warrior of Light became a slayer of gods. Tis but convincing illusion. The body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of Inferno! Facsimile, yet not quite the effort you know. No, not quite the same. It's time to cover the truth, or ready when you ready when you are. Let's go. <laughs> ready when you are. Together, then. Oh my gosh, she looks freaky. Different. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, Frodan. Hell yeah, dude! Oh, special duty actions, okay. Rising flames, huh? Okay.
dodge to avoid. Oh, the new dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. So certain enemies are pre preceded by a countdown icon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. When it when this countdown progresses to the dodge icon, quickly use a dodge action. Okay. Makes sense. After dodging, you will have a chance to do a precision strike. Okay. Nice. Man, I'm, why am I nervous? <laughs> this is a single player. I, know, I am too. Wow, okay, I gotta get used to this. Revising flames and dodge. Okay. the dodge that I am oops. Alright, I'm trying to buff.
friend. Oh shoot! <laughs> Go!
blamed another to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am! In the battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged a victor. Intriguing. The illusion has unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle, and no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Ah, that would explain the aberration in the lingering Aether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Clive has embraced his harrowing past and in doing so reclaimed the memories he lost. Though not a conscience act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Even so, it was difficult to accept what I'd done. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flames, he was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him, but Joshua was murdered, his bright future cut short. From that day onwards, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. 
I can but imagine the anguish this caused you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth, and then everything faded to black. Hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes, what are you thinking? I am thinking that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. I see you. Hello. Well, where? What? Oh, wait, how'd you get up there? <laughs> I honestly <laughs> didn't know heck? you. I honestly didn't know you could get up here. I had no idea. Let's see if you can figure it out. Close. Maybe I glitched it. I don't know. I got lucky. Yeah. It's it's Rogan. Is this the way you went? Like this path. I, I think so. It's a Rogan feature, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Wow, what the heck? Only Rogadins can get up here. Hmm. <laughs> How in the world? Okay, this is not working. I want to get up there. I think like this. Now, how do I do it? What the heck? I don't know. There you go. Kinda got my crack there. You gotta jump here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's a struggle. Made it though, yeah. Recently, they'll patch us out now when I release a video. Those bastards. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing up here? Too bad oh, you can't like, leave, like. Too bad you can't leave like a, a mark or something, yeah. Yeah, oh, wow. Like like a cool. Elden Ring? Yeah, that's cool. But I guess, uh. Let's finish it up. Go. Party. Let's see where we're heading next. We're at the burning wall. Oh, okay, it's the same place, so Camp Drybone again. Alright. Oh, okay. So, Clive is Ifrit. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Another ride? Sure. Let's see if I got my... Here you go. Chocobo! I never use this mount enough. Hey, Chocobo carried. So the new graphic update, I mean, I really can't tell the difference right now. That's maybe because I haven't actually seen the game as only a benchmark, so... Um... Yeah. For those that haven't seen the benchmark, I did put a benchmark video on the channel, so feel free to check it out. And uh, while you're here, if you like the content, please subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for more content. We're going to be putting out the new Final Fantasy content as best we can. Um, we'll be doing Elden Ring DLC in the future. So oh, we yeah. hope to see you guys in those videos, and maybe we'll do some FPS games as well. Yeah. So we play a little bit of everything, guys. So feel free to stop by the channel and give us a sub. And yeah, thanks so much for being here. For watching today too. Let's let's talk to Torgal. 
Did you give a thumbs up? <laughs> yeah. Here, do it again. Thumbs up from, from Slam Rise. Give us a like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like. Alright. Forgal's pissed. Yeah, he's just like... Anything. Yeah. So his ears are pricked up and his senses are focused on his surroundings. Okay. Let's climb. There's a bird in the background. I'm here at night walking around back there. There's a what now? Mirror night. Well, the, I remember those mirror nights. They're kind of a pain when we first ran into them. Yeah. Such an incredible sight. I was in no state to appreciate these crystals the first time. We've come this far, and now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Alright. Is Torgal still gr grumpy? Yep. Still grumpy. Ready, Torgal? Take me home. <laughs> uh, okay. Climb and the Wonder will accompany you. Okay. Follow Torgal. Alright, we're gonna follow Torgal. Whoa, he's taking off. Oh, I have to lead, huh? If I stop, then everyone else stops, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Oh Look a little dog. Mm-hmm. This is quite the run, man. I know. I can't keep up. <laughs> Running out of breath. Oh, okay. Oh. Whoa. What's he gonna say now, Tordo? Bark! I sense the end to this extraordinary tale as a hand. Is this it, boy? The tale ends where it began. That music, man. Yeah, <laughs> music's awesome. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do. Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas as if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst need. The phoenix? The burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the Phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the Phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to the sacred place of ours. Drawn to the flame.
It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, my friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth, may your journeys be fair. That last one's lame. Come on. Press on, friend. No matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. I might think the second one is what he says. All right. Always, no matter what fate awaits at journey's end. Mine says, and yours as well. You don't seem that type. You don't seem the type to stand still. <laughs> Never. Yep. <sighs> Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek. And Ballistia awaits. That was cool. That was awesome. Howl. <laughs> And then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. But nay, twould be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. That honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it, Rodin. That was really cool. Yeah. Cool. Finish this up. Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic, I must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guy that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. Oh. Nice. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. <sighs> we got a Torgal oh, whistle and a, a tire. A Torgal pup, huh? Wow, okay. And a tire, yeah. As in clothing, not as in a wheel. <laughs> a tire. Yeah, and there's there's special items in the gold saucer? Huh. Huh. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up that chest and put on the clothing. Or is it only required level one? Okay, so first try for every. Yeah. Every character can wear it. Go ahead and throw it on, Slime. I'm curious. Well, I guess, should I throw it on too, I guess? I guess. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, let's do that and ride the... Torgo. I'm gonna do the pop tail. Ride the Torgo. Time to ride the Torgo. <laughs> ride the Torgo. <laughs> I was to put the minion out there too, huh? Yeah. Where's the chest at? Okay. Yep. This is over here. That actually looks pretty nice. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna put the gloves on. I got a glove, I think. And then we have the minion. The pup. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder if they talk. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It would be awesome if they did. And then we got the, the mount, right? They howl. Yep. 
<laughs> I squashed the poor dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a special action. We can pet it. Let me see. Oh, you pet him. Aww. <laughs> That's too cute. No, listen, I want to fly around a little bit with this. I want to be busy, guy. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We appreciate you. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Rose. Thank you. Thanks, yep. Rose. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like our content. And, uh, yeah, thanks again so much for just taking some time out of your day to watch our our, our fun time in Final Fantasy today. And uh, we really had a lot of fun. Uh, we miss all you guys that used to be on our streams. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you soon in the next video, and you guys are awesome. We love you guys. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, <laughs> you normally you'd say, hey, take us out of here or something. <laughs> you didn't say it this time. <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, heroes, stay safe, stay frosty, stay cool out there. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you guys. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, doggles. <laughs> Bye, doggles.
Oh my gosh. Clutch win. Only 44 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ooh, that was close. Bye, guys. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Did it. Ha ha. <laughs> See you next time, guys. Pro fist.